I know what you did last summer, TV, the 8 best kills. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Enchant Films. 8. Eric Eric had one of the most graphic deaths on the show, considering how little time he appeared on screen. While he was Johnny's future husband, the audience largely only sees him in the scene of his demise. Johnny refers to him quite a bit and is happy about the life they will share. That is what makes it so shocking when Eric is killed by a dumbbell to the face. This is in the early stages of the murders, when the teenagers don't quite know what is going on. Johnny arrives at the gym to find Eric struggling to lift the weight off his chest. It seems as though Johnny might make it in time. But the killer stops Johnny and Eric's life is ended with the aforementioned dumbbell. It is not a question as to how this serial killer gets away with it in the end. 7. Dale Dale is the result of another off-screen kill, making this show a contender for the original horror film being better than the remake. But the reveal of his body makes it that much more surprising. Dale was a townie that had many liaisons with Lennon when she was still alive. This made him a prime target for the killer. Dale was found hours later by Officer Cruz at his place of work. Though the audience does not see him die, Cruz finds Dale with a tube from the slushy machine inserted in his mouth. A horrifying mixture of blood and blue slushy covers the floor, making Dale's death one of the most memorable. 6. Lennon Lennon's death was accidental, but that doesn't make it any less brutal. Her demise is what kicks off the disturbing chain of events, and it is even more disturbing that her sister Allison is the one that kills her, whether she intended to or not. After the twins fight at a graduation party, Allison takes off in Lennon's jeep. All her friends assume Allison is Lennon. This makes matters worse when Allison hits Lennon with the jeep while driving home. Though a typical hit and run, this death is made especially revolting as the teens decide to hide Lennon's body and pretend that she ran away. 5. Courtney While Courtney is not the best mother to appear on film, she does care about her daughter. She proves this after Riley never comes home. Frantic to find her daughter and frustrated that the authorities are doing nothing to help her, Courtney goes off on her own. Courtney's death becomes tragic because she intended to only find Riley. She never knows what happens to her daughter as she falls into a trap laid by the killer. While searching for Riley, Courtney is caught in a field and garroted by a ditch digger. She is strung up in one of the more graphic displays of violence on the show. 4. Johnny Johnny never had a chance from the moment. He tried to save his fiancé Eric from his terrible fate. This is a shame, as Johnny is one of the I Know What You Did Last Summer's most likable characters. Johnny also had the disrespect of his death being filmed on camera. After Johnny fails to save Eric from the dumbbell, he is decapitated on film. It is quite some time before Johnny's head is found. This is the vital act that makes the main cast understand that someone is after them for what they did last summer. Johnny's head is ultimately found with the inside crawling with spiders. 3. Helen Helen may have the least amount of sympathy, but that doesn't detract from her sudden and gruesome death. Allison and Lennon's mother arrives back in town not to reconnect with her daughters, only to find the Bible that was central to her cult. Fellow cult member Clara had had it, and after her death, Helen came back to reclaim it. Helen never finds absolution. When Allison and Dylan go searching for Margaret, they find Helen skewered on Clara's property. Although she was never a mother to Allison, it was still traumatizing for her to see her mother's corpse. 2. Clara Clara's death is largely up for debate. The audience never sees how she dies, but the authorities of the town are convinced that she had suffocated herself with honey. Dylan somewhat corroborates this later when he says that he helped Clara free herself from this life. No one will ever know if this was Clara's decision or just what Dylan told people. But regardless, her obsession with Honey led to her death because of it. 1. Riley Riley's demise was one of the most prolonged and I know what you did last summer. The crew of teenagers sneak onto Clara's property to try and find evidence that she is the killer. Clara comes home and starts wildly shooting at everyone, forcing them to scatter. While most of them make it home safe, Riley is caught. 
she is first stabbed through the chest, with her arm cut off while she is trying to call her mom. Riley makes it so far as to return to civilization, but it is too late to save her. Riley dies while thinking of her last humiliating memory of being rejected by Dylan, making her one of the most sympathetic and saddest deaths on the show. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.